Hey guys, welcome back to Billy Ray Garage. I caught you time thefting at work. I caught you on the toilet. Good. Get paid to take a dump. I do it, everybody should do it. So in this video, we're going to be doing a quick little video on modifying our bracket here for the throttle bracket because I got a lot of slacky in the cable and I do not like that. So this thing's getting dynoed soon and I have the appointment set up already, so I want my throttle body to open as much as possible so I can get all the horsepower and all that fun stuff because obviously that's what we're here for is numbers. Forget what the car could actually do. We just want numbers. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. When you... So I'm gonna have to modify that bracket or put this one on, but I bought this one off of Summit Racing. It is for a hundred and two millimeter throttle body, I believe for a Camaro Firebird, but I was initially putting it on before and I don't think this is gonna work. So, I'm gonna have to modify the existing bracket. Which doesn't seem terrible. I'm just gonna drill some holes and might have to drill something into the intake manifold, which is fine. There's plenty of room in there for it. Let's dig into this and see what we can get. Because this is not acceptable. All right guys, this already won't work. Uh, it was a shot in the dark, it looked like it would. I was hoping to be able to mount this like this, but it's kind of off center from here. So we're gonna have to come up with something else. You know, wouldn't it be great if there was a place where you could order parts and they work? You know, that'd be nice. There's been a lot of parts on this car where, you know, you it's for the car and then you go to put it on and it just doesn't work. So, uh, drawing board. All right, I'm gonna have to uh, probably drill some holes, rig this thing up until I can find a permanent solution or just make it temporary permanent. Who knows? Uh, all right, let me go to the drawing board, see what I come up with, but I need to get this uh, throttle cable nice and taut so when I get it dynoed, I can get the full potential out of it because if I go to the second hole down here, the throttle opens too much and it's just like chilling at like 3,500 RPM. And if I put it in this one, there's too much slack in it. So I could either drill a hole somewhere Bruh. in the middle and just clean it out and just deal with it that way and put the original bracket in. Or I could make some sort of bracket for this or none of the above and just chop this one up and weld it somewhere in the middle here so I could actually mount it. All right, so off to the drawing board and uh, let's see what I can figure out. All right guys, this is the brilliant plan I came up with. So, throttle cable is gonna go on the bottom section and I'm gonna use the old bracket and since I can't move the bracket back, I have to go forward a little bit. So where you see that vertical scratch mark, I'm gonna drill a quarter inch hole and then on the intake manifold, I don't know if you can see the little scratch right there. I'm actually going to bump it up a little higher because I can't get down there far enough. So I'm going to bump that one up a little higher, probably in line with this one, this hole. And I'm just going to move the bolt over and these bolts are just going to be closer together. So got my quarter inch drill bit right there. So I'm going to take a drill, a screw gun and put that bit on it and try and drill that out. And then I'm gonna to go to my drill press and drill a quarter inch hole right there. And hopefully this will work. This is where it lined up when I mounted this up, when I put it in. So hopefully that works. All right guys, wish me luck. Uh, this thing does not want to sit straight in the vise. So I'm just gonna crank it down a little bit and hopefully we could just drill this out real quick. All right, hopefully that works. We'll make that work. All right, guys, got my dopey little hole drilled. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to mount it where I want it and then make a mark where the second hole is that I'm gonna put in the plastic and try and use that back hole to go through to this other little section. And also this will be a dry run for uh, where the throttle cable is gonna go. So we got that. Let's get this guy started. And then put this bad girl back in. 
So we're gonna go there. This is gonna go right here. So right there's kind of where it wants to be. So I like that. So we can put this back in its little spot. There we go. And then, you know, we can make our mark up here, which I'm gonna do right now. I guess we want to come up higher, lower, we can. Oh, fuck it, we're gonna go with it. So right there, so we'll do a little circle. Scratch that in. And then we'll take it apart, take this off, and we'll drill out the plastic right here. I think I can make that work. Gonna let it rip. All right, guys, uh, here goes nothing, I guess. I'm gonna drill right here. It's gonna go nice and slow. Don't go real crazy. All right, so we got our little hole there. Sucks that you gotta drill out your thousand dollar fucking intake manifold, but it is what it is. I want it to run. Gotta do what I gotta do. All right, let's see what we got. Put that there. That looks like it'll just line up. So we should be good. So we'll stick you in here and go down. All right, we're not gonna crank you down just yet. So, all right, let's see if we get this little bastard in here. Open up. Yeah, all right, so we're gonna have to modify this hole a little bit. We're just gonna have to open it up. No big deal. So I'm cool with that. So let me get the drill and just clear this out a little bit more and we should be golden. All right guys, as you can tell, I elongated that hole a little bit more. So in theory, this should work. So I'm gonna start with this back guy first. Get that started. There we go. Get in there, motherfucker. You ain't gonna be like that. Yeah, so this one's a little trickier because this one fits the nut and we gotta kind of get it started like that. There we go. Oh, we got it. Nice. Because this opening's a little bigger, so it will not fit. So let's just tweak this up. All right, cool. Like it. And then we'll try and line this guy up. Hopefully. Ah, just out of reach. So I'll scoot you in and start spinning. Catch it, catch it, catch it. Get a new one. There it goes. All right, now we got it. So it's a little snug. We can rock this a little bit if we need to. So what I'm going to do is put this hoe in. So we're gonna snap you into place like so. There we go, you're in. And then we'll hook you into the throttle body in our desired position, which is down at the bottom. All right, so that seems to be where it wants to go. And then crank this down the rest of the way. And hopefully, there we go. And there we go. Okay, I like it. Okay, so that, that is our modified setup. Let's make sure there's no gaps there. It looks good. Throttle's relatively in line. Just make sure that's down all the way so it don't come out. It's gonna move a little bit, but that's okay. Uh, this bracket does not work. If you wanna come up with your own way to make that bracket work, Knock yourself out. So I just spent $35 on nothing because I thought it would work. So I am your guinea pig for this little project. So you can drill it out. We'll find out if it holds, but it should. That's pretty robust intake manifold. The holes are small enough to where there's not a lot of wiggle. Just a little bit, a little wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Our cable is pretty straight on, so I like that. I was actually gonna get a piece of aluminum off of uh, Amazon and kind of build a bracket to make this work, but don't need to do that. Maybe we'll use that for a future project, but who knows. So let's go inside the car and see how our pedal is. So before, if you just pushed on the pedal the littlest bit, like there was a lot of slack, it would probably go to like here. But now we could friggin' floor this thing. We'll see how far this thing actually wants to go, but. I will put you in the engine bay to look at that. So, just context, that's wide open throttle right there.
All right, guys, that's what I had to do to make my throttle bracket work. Looks pretty good. I'm happy with it, as long as it holds, which I don't see why it wouldn't, because it's basically the same setup, but these bolts are just, this one's moved towards the front of the car, and this one's moved back a little bit. So that's basically one of the, like, the finishing touches I had to do to get this car ready for the tune, which is happening very, very soon. So stay tuned for that video. So yeah, we had some challenges on this car, putting it together, kind of rigging things up to work properly. So at least we got full travel on the throttle. So we're in good shape there. So I don't have to worry about that anymore. So yeah, obviously when it goes on the dyno, you can get wide open throttle and get all the horsepowers that we want and the horse torques. So just, it's just a quick video, just documenting what's going on with this vehicle. So yeah, like I said, the video after this is going to be at the dyno. Uh, I've been driving this car around a little bit, just making sure the brakes aren't gonna fail on me. They seem to be working, but that stupid brake alarm pops on all the time. So kinda gotta have to live with that until either I figure it out or I get it to a dealership and they can do their thing and make it work because I think that's the route I have to go for the brakes. And uh, also I still have to get new tires. So that'll be coming up soon. And then I will get you footage of this thing getting driven the way it's supposed to be driven. As long as it doesn't explode on the dyno. I hope I just did not jinx myself for some wood. I'm not superstitious, but I'll take all the luck I can get because I built this shit myself. It's been a while. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, you know the deal. And I will see you guys in the next one. Daddy, chill.